Just how bad is the salt in our food? Scientists say they've proved that too much can cost you your life. Hello, I'm Kate Gerbeau. This is Five News. Also coming up in the next half hour, inside the room of the US college killer, a day of mourning is declared for his victims. The mystery of the yacht found miles out to sea with its engine running, food on the table, but no one on board. And... Remember this lot? Henson will be telling us what happens when a boy band grows up. You're watching Five News. Welcome back. Now they say showbiz is a risky business, especially for kids. Well, our next guests are three brothers who were just 11, 14 and 16 when they shot to fame. They've changed quite a bit since then, so before we meet them, let's have a look at how you'll remember them. Isaac Taylor, Zach Hansen. How's it going? Well, hey. Thank you for coming in. It's great to see you. And how you've changed. Yes. Well, yeah, well, 10 years will definitely do that. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Now, um, when you look back at that, does it feel like it really wasn't you? Because, I mean, you watched it in stony silence just uh, well, then. No, no, no it's, that, that you're misinterpreting that. That's just a night of tired, you know, in the middle of a tour, you know. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I, honestly, it doesn't feel like a different person at all. I mean, those are songs we wrote. Those are songs that we, you know, performed, performed and mm. produced. I mean, and... And since then, you know, four albums later, toured the world many times been over. Because so. the thing is, I mean, sort of in the UK, we've been wondering, I mean, what you've been doing in that time. You have sure. been very busy, haven't you? Yeah, um, well, actually, it's, it's pretty exciting. In 2004, it, we had a top ten with Penny and Me, which was our last mm, single yeah. of our last album. So, yeah, yeah I mean, we, things, have, things have actually been really good for us, especially even in the UK. Mm. The UK has been a very, very supportive. I know. We have people phoning group. up our office saying they're going to line the streets to come and see you today <laughs> when they heard you were going to be on. Um, Isaac, um, how would you say your music's changed in that time um, when you hit the first hit the scene? Sure, you matured sure. a lot because your lives have changed a lot, haven't they? Our, our lives obviously have changed. I mean, t 10 years, as Zach said, we'll do that. But um, certainly as writers, I think everything about what you uh, are writing about kind of continues uh, to evolve. And it's not just, it's not level, uh, I don't think it's a maturity thing. I think mm. it's just a life thing. Mm. You know, every record that you make is different. You have different influences. I think this latest record pulls from the Motown influences and kind of stuff from the first record, the yeah. R&B and kind of gospel stuff from the second record and the more smoky stuff from the last album. Should so. we have a look at your new single then? Sure. Sure, yeah, yeah. quite different, isn't it? It's great. I really like it. I've, yes. You've recently been to Africa, haven't you, um, Zach? Just tell me a little bit about how that all came about and the effect it had on you. Well, um, we decided to um, go to Africa. There's, there's three songs on the record that have um, children's choirs from Africa, from South Africa and uh, Mozambique. And that was really inspired because um, a group of guys from Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is where we're from, they, they were um, giving away a piece of technology that they had created to a hospital in Soweto. And we just we heard that and we felt really inspired about what they were doing and um, the fact that they were just using uh, the things that they had available to them to make a difference. They were just saying, you know, we don't have the perfect solution, mm. but we're going to give what we have to make a difference. And um, and you're, you're you're trying to raise money now, aren't you? For well, HIV? well, that really struck so. us and and we decided to go to Africa and then um, just to to figure out what it is we could do, what mm. role we could play, how do we find you know the the little piece that we could play and. And we just realized that our music was really at least the yeah. first thing that we could use to make a difference. And so uh, the idea of recording with uh, children's choirs from South Africa and Mozambique came about. And, and, and then we the recorded the, the songs. The important thing to say about that is the song Great Divide, which is one of the songs that we recorded with the, with the choir, is available on iTunes. All the, mm. all the proceeds from that song and from that uh, digital release go directly to uh, the hospital. We felt like mm. that was the uh, most straightforward and actually most cost-effective way yeah. to get the most amount of money to them. And, uh, and that's just the beginning. We, we want to do a lot more. A uh, song is just the tip of the iceberg, yeah. hopefully a lot more in the future. 
So you've been together as, a, as brothers and as a professional uh, working partners uh, for so long now. And, and now you two are both dads. You just recently, Isaac. Um, yes. Yeah. I was it like having families of your own. What kind of change does that make to your work? Um, I mean, I, I, again, I, th I think life uh, affects you in kind of a subconscious and conscious way, uh, it, musically. But I, 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 so it's it's hard to tell exactly what effect that's going to have <laughs> on the future your, of music for, for me. The, for the two-week-old, you know, for my two-week-old yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Actually, you get more sleep yeah. on tour now than you do yeah. at home, basically. Yes, I do. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Hanson, great to talk to you, and thank you very much for coming. And good Thanks luck with everything. Thank, thank you. Now it's a twenty.